Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm giving you some major updates here from Germany today. But first we will look into some other news. So looking into China here, full parking lot. That is very exciting beginning of this year. Thanks to Vuva for that. And looking into that new CATL battery factory is now ready to go. And it looks like we will see more LFP batteries that will further um, support the growth of Tesla. Tesla. Um, but not only that, we also had rumors last year that the 4680 cells might be produced from CATL. So maybe not this year yet, or maybe at the end of the year, let's see, because this um, place here um, for the premium variants, at least um, the Chinese consumers should be able to get the 4680 cells as well. So it's just a question um, where Tesla will get that from if they will produce it by themselves here in Shanghai or if they will do it over CATL. So we will have to see um, what is happening here. But it's very exciting because we do know 850k is possible based on the production rate. Um, and let's see where this further investment and increase of battery supply and of course demand is bringing this factory this year, maybe even higher, maybe at a run rate of 1.2 million cars per year by mid uh, 2022. So let's see how it is going. Then we have exciting news for the battery um, or mega packs in this case, 48 gigawatt hours are planned to be done in 2023. That is based on the revenue, $22 billion of revenue. That is pretty insane. And this just shows how quietly Tesla is increasing the um, entire um, specter of um, the energy business and I find that very important and as always mainstream media and everyone else is concentrating on the cars but slightly Tesla is quietly increasing the um, mega packs and as well the power walls that are going mainstream as well and this is a very important business for the future and just remember mega packs have the LFP batteries. Then another great great news from Germany. So maybe people were expecting now the final permit. No, that's not the case, but I will explain you why this is awesome here. So Tesla is able to now produce 2000 Model Y in a test production. So you might think, well, um, what is the advantage of that? Well, there's a big advantage of that. And the fact that the authorities in Germany are actually giving Tesla this possibility to make 2000 Model Y um, is a very good sign that it is just a question of time to get the final permit. I will explain you in a second why it's important to discuss the delay here of the final permit. So 2000 Model Ys, this, this really allows Tesla to further make the quality better as the reports are showing Tesla is not 100% um, satisfied yet, but they have now time to make 2000 Model Y in the next four weeks. So they are perfectly having the perfect um, quality. They're all good to go. And they do that at the same time as they're waiting for the final permit. And that is perfect. They are not losing any time. They do what they would have to do anyways. So if they would get the final permit today, Tesla would still have to do test production. So they're not losing any time right now, even though some people might believe that. So they go forward now, they are testing. 2000 will be produced. We will see them all out here as you see them. And we will have more ideas where the quality is going. Of course, based on the drone footage, it will be very hard. So thanks to for Tobias Lind for the close up here. And there's a different thing you need to consider. The reason why they take so long is because based on the past 60 years, we had so many laws, so many lawsuits. And based on every lawsuit, they made a new rule, a new law. And this is the issue we have in Germany. It's not the corruption itself. No, that's not the point. Um, it's not VW or anybody else. Um, again, this, they are supporting some environmental groups. I'm not denying that. But... Um, the loss, the amount of loss, that is what experts are saying is the issue here because no one wants that they give Tesla now the permit and then two months later someone finds a loophole to 
um, go against this entire project. That is something we would not like to see and that is why they take so long. Just as a clarification here, I'm not saying that um, of course VW and other companies wouldn't like a delay. It is convenient for them. That's not something I wouldn't deny. But again, it, the issue is the amount of loss in the papers for all these things. And that is the issue we have in Germany, that we do have too many laws for too many things. And the um, yeah, and this is making it really hard to build something. And based on all these laws, they need to figure out how to get everything so according that it is no way that somebody can um, go against this project um, based on the papers for the final permit. Um, we do see these great footages here from Giga Berlin and I'm really thankful that they are now moving forward and that is what we like to see. Joe Tegmeier here showing us some nice pictures inside this factory in Austin so that we just get a glimpse here what this means, what we could expect to see inside and um, I'm actually um, happy that it is um, so transparent that you really can look inside the factory. Let's see how, lo how long this will be possible. Um, again, in um, Austin, we have actually the chimneys are already working and it really looks like we could see some updates coming here from Austin this weekend. Um, and then we have to talk about the FSD. We see a price hike to 12K. Um, but again, for all those who are watching from Europe, um, this price hike is not for Europe, just in the United States. And this makes a lot of sense because a lot of people are frustrated um, based on the quality of the FSD in Europe. And just for those who don't know that, there will be an update hopefully coming based on a statement from Elon Musk in March for the European continent. Um, and again, I do find the updates here from AI Driver who is doing a really good job. So thanks to him. Um, he is able to show us the latest update and I must honestly say if you compare that to one from last year, um, beginning or mid last year, it is a major difference. And there are a lot of people out there in the beta version who are really saying that these are getting better and better, these updates. And the way the car is behaving, the way the car is smoothly driving around all these um, places where you could have had an issue in the past is just amazing. So I'm really, really bullish on the outcome of the FSD. Even though many people out there are not really supporting it, um, I do know a lot of people are being really skeptical. But the only way to convince them is based on great technology. So thank you very much for being here today. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.